I found the weirdest sketchbook I have ever seen before. The weirdest sketchbook. I mean, I kid you not, this thing is so strange. <laughs> so we're gonna use it today. We're gonna test it out. It is a zigzag sketchbook. So I guess from my interpretation, that means it's going to open up like an accordion and just zigzag everywhere instead of, you know, flipping through the pages. It says natural white watercolor paper folded into an accordion. <gasps> Guys, this is so cool. <laughs> this is a sketchbook. This is a sketchbook? Like what? Well, since this is watercolor paper, I'm gonna go get those, my watercolors, and my art bag. I think some of my stuff might be in the living room, so hold on. Finally, a place to sneak all my snacks. <laughs> Ooh, what is on this computer? What is this? I'm gonna need to get a granola bar for this. Wow. What is Skillshare? Dude. I think this is like a place I can learn a lot of stuff. Hello? From dreaming to doing. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna click it. Minty, what are you doing? Oh, well, uh, you left the room, so I'm using your computer and, um, well, I was originally in here to sneak and eat all my snacks, you know, but I explored your tabs and um, now I'm learning stuff. Well, could you maybe, like, do it later? I'm using her. Shh. Okay, I'm trying to learn something. Hello? <sighs> what? Yeah, I looked through all your tabs and then I found Skillshare. There's this girl. Well, you actually started the course, but I'm finishing it. And she's like doing this like pep talk about from dreaming to doing basically. And I learned. Hey, 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 spoiler alert. You know, maybe you should just make your own account. But why would I do that? Well, Skillshare is like really affordable. I mean, an annual subscription is only $10 a month. And a premium membership gives you unlimited access to all of that. So... You, you would thoroughly enjoy it, Minty, I'm telling you. Wait, wait, wait. So I wouldn't, like, need to borrow your computer to do this then? If, like, I had my own account? No, you would be using your own computer and giving mine back. Wow, sweet. I mean, $10 a month, that's, like, really affordable. And actually, if you click the link below my video, you can get two months for free because Skillshare is sponsoring this video. <gasps> Oh, this is pink. Oh, my diet is strictly mint. I can't do that. Minty, I love you, but just go home. Okay? Fine. Okay. I'll just pack up my stuff. I am gonna join Skillshare though. So like, if you don't see me for a couple days, then I'm learning. Okay. How do I want to start this bad boy? Look at all these pages. Get a few pencils ready. All right, I officially have, I don't know, four sketchbooks going right now. <laughs> it's becoming a bad habit, but we won't talk about it. Since it's that time of year where it's like fall, winter, marathon movie time, I'm gonna draw an owl. Inspired by Hedwig from Harry Potter. <laughs> we'll draw a couple things. So, if you don't like this drawing, make sure you stick around. I think I'll do a wintry scene.
the markings appear a little darker. It's just not popping with the rest of the wings. So we'll do that. And then maybe just some light brown specks through there. I don't know. Does that look owly to you? <laughs> Okay, we have an owl. <laughs> Let's do a little bit more background. Mm. His legs need to be a little bolder. Let's do that. Add some contrast here. I would really love to do like some bigger watercolor paintings. Like this just has me so inspired right now. It's just hard to have time around the holidays but hopefully I can make time. <laughs> Are you guys really busy around the holidays or do you find it's a time to relax? Like who here gets holiday anxiety and who here just like lives for it? I think I'm in between. Like I adore the holiday season so much, but all of our family lives far away. <laughs> And the holiday season is my busiest time for work. So traveling makes life a little stressful. Like November, I have to work ahead hardcore because I'm going to be going so much in December. So that's okay. Okay, the annoying thing about this sketchbook is it's so lightweight. It like slides everywhere. And this like wants to accordion itself right now. Okay, we're doing a silhouette of a reindeer because I thought it would be fun. <laughs> I guess this is like a full page watercolor doodle now. Alrighty, this one is done. I'm pretty happy with it. It's really cute. Try to keep everything in the background very simple, the same color, and the owl is like the focal point. But he's also like, kind of catches your eye. You know what I mean? So fun. Let's do another one. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, isn't that cool? It would be cool to do like one continuous picture that keeps going. Eh, I don't know. The stuff I feel like doing next isn't really consistent with that, so. Cool in theory, but you know what? That's a lot to do, and I don't, I don't want to do that. Let's come up with something else. See, this is annoying. All right, zigzag sketchbook. You are cool, but you can't be accordioning up on me like this. Boom! Whatever, dude. I'm not really sure what this person will be doing, but. Wow, you ever just have a day where it's hard to draw a certain, like, thing? Like, I don't really think people are my thing today. <laughs> this nose, it's okay. Sometimes as artists, don't you guys forget this because I don't want you to ever feel bad when you have an off day. It's okay to take a step backwards and regress on your skills a little bit, it's okay. Because we're human, we are not perfect, and that's part of the art journey. So if you ever feel down, like for some reason you just can't draw something that you feel like you're usually good at, hey, it's all, it's all good. You're still good at it. The next one will be better. See, like me, I can't, I can't draw today. <laughs> you guys get a full glimpse of an off day here, all right? That watercolor painting turned out great, but for some reason this is just a struggle bus. She's gonna have some giant earmuffs on. <laughs> I think that sounds fun. I'm trying to be better at like faster gestural drawings. I think it adds like a nice amount of language to a piece to like loosen up and do this. But then I always have fear that like, oh no, but right now, 
since things have not been going as planned, I'm just trying to loosen up now. I think that's what I just need to do. Little trick if you want to do that, don't hold your pencil right here. If you want to draw more loosely or paint more loosely and gesturally, scoot your hand back. It gives you a lot more control. Helps you be a lot looser with your gestures, your lines, and it's like pretty comfortable. Wow, that was so fun and like quick. I feel like really speeding up at the end it just helped me quite a bit, so that was nice. I let most of this dry. There's this little puddle here, and honestly, like it's been an hour almost. It's still not dry. And I don't feel like getting out my hair dryer, so we're just gonna be daring and try to go around it. So I drew an eye in a recent video, and it got me like in the mood to draw eyes again. some of these gold stars. Alrighty, just have to let the gold dry in that little blob right there. <laughs> but it's done. It's really cute. This was fun. We did four pages. Technically three pieces though because I stretched the first one. And yeah, it would, if I had the time and I didn't have like so many other big projects going on, I would totally make like a continuous piece. That'd be so cool. Let me know if you want to see more videos with my accordion sketchbook. This thing is fun, I wanna fill it up now. Like, it can't be that hard. I mean, there's only so many pages. So anyway, I have a link down below for two free months of Skillshare. Make sure you click it if you would like to test it out. I mean, it won't cost you anything. And I really like the site because I feel like I learn a lot on it. Um, I watched a really motivational like speech on there. It was a Skillshare talk actually that was, I think it was a staff pick. It was so good guys. It um, gave me that like burst of motivation to just like do the things that I'm striving to do instead of like having anxiety about it. So if that topic interests you as well, I can link that class down below. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good day guys, bye.